Hey, another year's gone by. I'm sure lots has changed for all of you. And a lot's changed for me as well. It's been a weird year, again, for everybody, but I feel like things are just gonna keep getting weirder forever, really. So, kind of used to the uh, escalation of the weirdness at the moment. I'm really glad I have this channel because it gives me a chance to look back on things and see what's changed, what's new. It creates a kind of timeline through my life. I know it looks like I've not made anything for a year and a bit since Hold, but I've made some music. Um, and I've been making things here and there. I'm getting a clearer scope of the world each uh, time I do one of these. And it's just fun to share. And I always feel like it's self-indulgent, and it is. But there's no shame in that. You know, I think it's important that we all get a chance to do something like this. So if you want to know what I've been up to, what's on my mind, stick around. Uh, if not, you can leave this video. There's a lot of videos on this website. Uh, you'll definitely find something that you'll enjoy much more than this within seconds. Like the algorithm knows you very well. Maybe the algorithm brought you here. If it did, fuck, what a strange world. This here, and this whole place actually, is my favorite place in the world. So um, I'm back here for the first time in a while. It gave me the motivation to make this video. So I just want to quickly wrap up what I've been up to uh, this last year. Since the last video, I spent 10 months working at a pizza restaurant, saved up all that money, and was lucky enough to have the opportunity to go to Ghana in West Africa for five weeks with my best mates in the world, Jack and Phoebe. We were making a documentary for Jack's uncle's NGO, WizKids. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to see the documentary someday as well. It's always kind of um, meaningless when you hear somebody else talk about the things that changed their life because it's such a personal thing and it can sometimes sound pretentious or just so out of reach because it's such an individual experience. But this was one of the most life-changing things in my life, for sure. I, I met some wonderful people and learned so much about the world in good ways and bad ways. What a world it is. The definition of home sort of changed for me. Like, I used to think home was a place and now I feel like home is people. I say that because when we left Hamily, which is where we were in Ghana, I really felt homesick for a long time. I, I was home, I was here, but I felt incredibly homesick. Um, I was almost grieving, actually. After spending the next few months being with friends as much as I could, you know, given the circumstances, I am now in university. Um, I'm a film student, and that's been just wonderful. Again, I feel like I've found my people, you know, learned so much, got a little bit of a deeper sense of independence, a little bit. And man, time's a weird bloody thing because when I got to uni, within a few weeks, everything before that felt like a blip. Now I'm here, it feels like that never happened. But I think that's just what time feels like. We get used to things so quickly. That should be terrifying, I suppose, but I think it's wonderful. I'm starting to get a clear image of uh, my place in the world, starting to, especially the ways that I can engage with the world, you know? For the last few years, I'm sure that you can relate to this because it seems like everyone is sort of doing this on a certain level. I've given myself the mindset that I'm stuck. You know when you feel like you're on the edge of something and it's coming, but you never quite, you never quite make it over the edge? But I started procrastinating doing the things I love to instead do the things that give me instant joy, which I know you can relate to, because that's what the world is now. Things are so easy to, to, uh, to get. You know, instant gratification is just the way we engage with the world now, that there's no more waiting around, and it's all these little blip, blip, blip of dopamine, and it's addictive as hell, and you're addicted to it, and I'm addicted to it. It just feels so irrational, the amount of uh, time I, I waste. Uh, in, in pursuit of nothing because because there are things in my life that give me immense satisfaction but I procrastinate engaging in those things because I'm almost scared of the reward or, or the work towards them because instead 
I can watch a 30 second video or I can instantly have something or binge something that will just keep me a slave to it. I'm not trying to express that this is a unique phenomenon. It's a universal one at this point in time. We're, we're all just stuck in it. But it comes in waves for me. Like I get this drive to, uh, to get rid of all that stuff and uh, instead work on um, discipline, you know, so things become more rewarding. I'll go through like cycles where I'll spend a, a good couple weeks very determined and then I'll, you know, I'll, I'll slack a little and then I go whoop, right back into the pit. Okay, so the reason why I'm making this video is that I want to sort of set in stone via YouTube, via this channel, the things that have value to me, things that are worth exploring and experiencing because I just feel like I spend almost all my time not doing those things. It's kind of like a kick in the face, you know, because like, oh yeah, this is what matters. Not any of the other shit. Am I being vague enough for you? Okay, here we go. Firstly, it's people. Being with people that I love gives me a feeling that is just like, unparalleled. And it, it sounds simple, but I, I just don't spend enough time giving love to the people that I love, you know? It's very humbling to see the world through somebody else's eyes and to hear what someone has to say. And every time you talk to somebody, the world gets a little bit bigger, you know? I'm always trying to be as authentic as I can with people. I've just given up on doing the Ben show or whatever. Everyone has this kind of like persona they put on. Focusing on authenticity. So that's the first thing. The second thing is of course creating things, be it music, videos. When, when you define yourself as a creative person, at least this is my experience, suddenly it's such a mammoth task to actually create anything because I get so worked up in a, oh, this isn't good enough. This is not unique enough. <laughs> God, what a dumb thing to worry about. This is not unique enough. It's 2021 AD. Shit's been done before. It's all an echo of an echo of an echo. And that's the great thing. Like as a creative individual, it is our responsibility to keep that echo going. It doesn't mean you have to be the most unique person in the world. Uh, the third thing is novelty. Novelty, that word, has a, has a special meaning to me. I don't know if, if I'm using it in the way that everyone else would use it. Every day should contain novelty because the world's a big fucking place, right? It's a big place. There's a lot in it. And it just feels irrational for me to do the same thing every day. I want to see the world. I mean, like, any kind of career that I might have in the future is just going to be a vehicle for me to see the world, personally. I think because I desire that feeling of novelty so much, that might be why I'm very interested in languages or whatever, it's because it, for some reason it's not enough for me to just like have my little bubble. I, 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 wanna, I wanna experience everything all at once, all in one lifetime, but like, you can't do that. The next best thing is to always be experiencing something new, right? Doesn't that lead to a fulfilling life? And this just might be the way I feel about it. If there's somebody else out there that just really wants to do the same thing every day, like if that's somebody else's version of satisfaction, of contentment, contentment, contentness, then that's wonderful. But I'm f I figured out that, that that just isn't for me. Not to say that's not what I do. That is what I do. I stay in my room and play puzzle games and binge watch Netflix and waste time waste time because my brain is addicted to things that give me instant dopamine and I've started treating that feeling as some kind of demon you know I, I, I don't believe in demons but it's fun to play with the idea that you're under some kind of curse and it's up to you to get it out of your system because if you think about things in that way if you mythologize it it, it makes it it gives you more of a, a drive to live life your way. I often feel the need to apologize when I'm making videos where I just talk about myself. It's not easy to have these kind of conversations with people. Like, you can understand that. You can't just sort of bring up these kind of big topics all the time. This isn't a closed forum, 
you know, there's a comment section down there. If you, if you feel like having a chat, don't hesitate. Let's create a, another community, you know? Why the fuck not? I, I, know, I know most of the people watching this video, probably. But if I don't know you, say hello. Like, what are you doing here, you know? The internet is, is a trippy thing, you know? Because it's both the bane of my life and my sanctum. And it's also like the world now. It's just what the world is. I've given up thinking about the future. I'm not saying that in a pessimistic way at all. Because every time I create an idea of the future in my head, that's just another path that won't exist. The chances of that being real is next to nothing, of course. Well, no, it is nothing, because nothing is exactly the way you plan it. And anyway, like, I might not see you for another year, if that's cool with you. I might see you tomorrow, but uh, that's just the way things are going, you know? I just wanted to share the fact that the world excites me at the moment. Because I'm young, because everything's new, well, hey! I'm trying to catch that feeling so that throughout my whole life I can hold on to it. Rather than just letting that enthusiasm ride itself out to a pulp and then just vanish, which I think is what happens for a lot of people. I love how pressing record on a camera gives me an excuse to talk to myself. Hello! Hello! There's no one here, man. Literally, as far as you can see, it's just trees. There's nothing man-made in the whole place. Oh, apart from that. Alright. Tatty, bye. 42 minutes. <laughs>